Okay, we're in the attic. It's about 22 by 22 inches. Uh, we're not going to be able to safely crawl this. There isn't a walkway through here. I'm seeing a few things like right there, that pipe, that big round pipe coming up to the right of that square plenum. It's coming up from the floor to the roof. Okay, that's the furnace flue. And the furnace flue discharges into an asbestos vent. Huh. Okay, I didn't see that from downstairs. We got rigid air duct, which is a good thing. Uh, rigid steel metal air duct. Okay, so that's the air conditioning. Now electrical, we got electric cables too close to the attic entrance. So that's the electrical thing. Cloth sheath cable, too close, too close. <coughs> the attic thing, this is a OSB over lath, wooden lath. Uh, this is built to standards of the day, um, which means on this low slope we don't have purlins. Um, we do not have collar ties either. I don't see collar ties over the main part of the structure. Not surprised to learn that, um, but we don't have them. We do not have collar ties. Um, loose fill fiberglass. It's about four inches. It's been compacted. It's dirty. It's filthy. I recommend that all this be removed and the attic ventilation be improved. Um, we've also got evidence of rodent infestations, uh, including trails. And do I see any dookie? I'm sure there's some dookie around here. There's a little bit of dookie. Okay. So we know we've had mice, but you know, that's about par for the course. And then when you have enough insulation in here, then this, this opening should be, you should have a dam built around it so the insulation doesn't fall into the house. Oh. We got a split rafter tie. Excuse me, not tie. We don't have rafter tie. Split rafter right there.